Hello friends and welcome to Smiley Gaming. We're back playing Sim Casino. Awesome tycoon game that I just can't get enough of right now. This game is excellent. I love it. I've been waiting for a game like this to come around for a while now that just gives you the freedom to uh, to build what you want and how you like it and all that good stuff. I love uh, I love business sims. They're, they're definitely my favorite. All right, in today's episode, we're going to be building a theatre. Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we build a theatre over here, over in this area. Now, uh, I've recently discovered that uh, this is the first slot for our heights. They have height limits. I did not know each different plot had a height limit. So the first one is only two. So it only has a two height limit. And then I think the, the second lot has a height limit as well. Um, we can check by going over here, and we can save and view. It'll just save real quick, and then it'll bust us out of the world here. And then if you look over here on the left, you can see that uh, Farrah Heights has two height, three height, two height, three height, five height, five height, etc, etc. So, now it says two, but you can also build on the roof. So technically, there's three floors, but not really. If that makes any sense because <laughs> you can only build on the roof uh certain things you can't build everything anyway let's jump back into for our heights here we will get started on our theater all right uh now some people have been struggling with the theater a little bit just setting it up getting it to build it is a bit finicky i have built one before in a test save that i'm doing just uh working on designs and how i'd like to set some things out and whatnot so uh, the, the problem is mostly with the leveling and how to set up balconies and stuff But well, we're just gonna get started here. So let's grab ourselves a foundation uh, So now because there are only two levels and I want two 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 stories I'm gonna build uh, this here. So this can be my lobby into the theater Let's say about say about half of this though Because I'm thinking I'm thinking we can have this as a little uh as a little balcony that I can get people to sit on and chill out and maybe have a bar out here or or close by or something. I don't even know if you can put a bar outside. Let's have a look. You can. Which is good. Missing all goods. Oh, of course it is. And the access point can't be reached because there's no door. But nah, isn't that good? So we can have a bar out here. We can have an outside bar outside the theater. Uh, so this can be the entrance lobby zone where you buy the tickets. We chill out. And then we'll come over here. And then we'll place foundations on the ground. So this is where our theater is going to be. Uh, let's expand it a bit. Let's make it a bit long. And then we'll do the roof as well. There we go. So now we've got a two level theater. So now we just want to make sure that it is a theater. Uh, requires researching theater. Huh. We'll build a theater and we can't even make a theater. So let's research that. Let's hopefully get that going. And uh, hopefully that doesn't take too long. So let's uh, let's make sure the speed's going fast here. Uh, while that's doing that, we can continue uh, building up our initial theater here. So this can be the lobby here. So let's go over to big ass doorways. Oh, it's centered. Isn't that a miracle? That never happens. Uh, and let's uh, let's remove the floor on this one so we can see what we're doing. Is that, uh, is that gonna do it? Excellent. Remove the floor. So now we can uh, see both the levels that are happening here. All right. So we want to come into the lobby. We want the room to go down. So I'm thinking stairs. So I'm thinking, thinking maybe we get rid of this wall. Oh, that's weird looking. And then we can get some stairs and we can put some stairs uh, lining the middle here. I'd say that's about the middle. So let's uh, let's build a wall down here. Yeah, otherwise, because if we put all this the theater zone, the stairs are going to block it and make it not a theater zone, which is rather frustrating, but uh, that happens. All right, let's build a doorway down here. Oh my God, it's not centered. Why am I not surprised? That's That's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Can I put this down? Thank you. Uh, and then we'll remove the floor. Excellent. And that should be that should be even down there. Let's um 
we're just gonna have to deal with it being uneven i i couldn't even uh couldn't even be bothered right now so let's let's add some floor here remove flooring no i want to add flooring let's just grab some carpet here and we'll place it down there we go we'll place it down over here as well we'll probably change the color scheme i've got going on here uh so let's build a wall here at the back end when it decides to go away there we go do that one and then we will do that excellent excellent uh and then we want this to be pretty much the balcony so we want uh want big big double doors over here i guess how many one one so let's uh make sure this one's right one 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 there we go one and one excellent and then uh, that should be relatively even uh we do want this a bit closer can we I wonder if we can put some columns down uh let's see where the columns fit that's looking all right uh we could probably fix up these columns so it doesn't look like one column supporting everything <laughs> uh let's uh let's remove uh some of these so we're gonna have to go down okay 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 Okay, we don't have to add the columns, but it, it makes it so it, it doesn't look like they're free floating. So we definitely, definitely want that to be a thing. Let's make sure we're putting it where we should be. Excellent. So now we've got our balcony going. Uh, let's set up a fence so people can't fall off it. I don't think people can fall off it anyway, even if they wanted to. Balcony, balcony. Fantastic. Fantastic. How's our research looking? It's done. Beautiful. Let's jump over to entertainment. Let's go theater hall balcony. Let's see if we can get that popping. Excellent. Excellent. And excellent. It needs seats. Must be assigned to a hall. Yep, we'll do that in a moment's notice. Man, that's a lot of seats. All right, let's go objects and remove. So let's, in this case, let's remove both these. And in this case, let's remove that. And then we'll remove those two. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, now we want to assign this one to be a theater hall. All right. We're going to have to keep some space. Where's the... Here. It's because we need a box office. Gotcha. Uh, do we want the box office down here? Or upstairs. I did say I wanted the ticket booth upstairs. So let's let's make sure it's upstairs. Let's, let's do that. There we go. We'll put it there. We'll grab our theater. Hopefully it is lined up nicely. Is it? It does look like it is. With the center of this anyway. Lovely. What if we place it there? See how that works. I don't know how this person out here is going to see, but uh, it's not really my issue, is it? Uh, we could probably push it back to the wall. I would like space to build. There we go. I would like space to build our little uh, where the where the actors go, the dressing rooms and all that stuff. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's drop down here. Let's build our seats. So. We want a space in the middle here for our, our column. So it looks like we don't want to touch any of these two. So let's go over here. There we go. And we'll just build row upon row. It's a lot of seats. I feel sorry for the people sitting sitting behind the uh, behind the columns here. But uh, no matter. I'm sure they'll be fine. So let's remove our flooring objects. Let's grab all this. Delete that. Perfect. Um, now I'd like rows. What if we delete the outside and one more of the inside and delete the back wall? I think, uh, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll delete this side, this side, this side, and the back wall. Get rid of all that. 
get rid of that, uh, that, that, and all that. And then we'll delete a row each on this side. That's a lot of seats. It's good enough for me. Excellent. Plus we've got upstairs as well, which is always good. All right, uh, let's get started on the on the uh, dressing rooms and whatnot. We're getting close to the edge of the map. We definitely have enough space to work with, so I'm sure we'll be fine. So let's go down here. Uh, maybe I want the dressing rooms out here. I think I'll build a wall here so they can jump off, and then I'll build a wall here. Excellent. And then uh, I think I'll expand one back, or a few back, just so they can get back there. Delete this wall. Um, where's the wall removal tool? There she is. Uh, so now you can still count this as a hall, uh, because this does not block the, the hallway stuff here. So this is all still the hall, which is lovely. Um, now... I have to figure out a way our our workers can get in here. Well, what if we just what if we just grab all this back here? Yes. Get a staff door going there. Build a foundation here. Oops. There we go. And then we'll remove all that. Excellent. And then now this can be our, our dressing room area. Oh, look at that. Perfection. All right. Uh, another quick way of doing this, instead of individually, you just drag it across. Separates it for you. You don't have to worry about it. Lovely. Let's build uh, another wall straight in the middle. Excellent. Uh, now we need uh, doors. So we need interior doors. So we'll just make them all pretty similar. They don't have to be too different from each other. They don't know. They also don't have to be extravagant. So uh, make sure you put private lock doors on. It's kind of like uh, renting a room. All right. So now it needs a makeup booth and a wardrobe. So these aren't bedrooms. So you can't build them like a bedroom, but they do need makeup and a wardrobe. Excellent. So we'll just build them all identical. There's no reason to have them different. We're not treating our actors spectacularly. The bathroom has the most stuff in it. It's got like the toilet and the shower and all that. That's it's pretty much just a normal. Oops. Normal bathroom. There we go. Toilet's done. And now it wants and now it wants a shower and a sink. So we'll do that. Excellent. There we go. We've got all our dressing rooms done. We've got eight of them eight yep so we got eight of them which is good uh i believe this hall's functional now which is good so we want to assign the balcony to that hall as well so you want to make sure you do that otherwise this won't register as viewership for this theater so you want to make sure you do that um yeah that's that's pretty much it next is uh design so designing everything I don't know what I'm going to put down here. Maybe I'll put down another bar or maybe some slot machines or I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. And then uh, I'm going to have this like a uh, outside drinking area. So again, another bar, maybe a couple of slot machines. I'm unsure. And then do the flooring and the, the wallpaper and all that stuff. Excellent. It should look pretty good. Once I, uh, once I finish designing it, I'm going to do that. It's going to take me a while, and uh, I'll be back. Oh, that took a bit. All right, so we've got uh, we've got the flooring all set up. I've gone for like some dark, dark, uh, dark swirls here and some dark wood. Excellent. And then uh, we've also got this lovely little little zigzag area where the uh, actors and all that can get in and out, which is very good. Uh, I made sure the walls are nice and high, so it doesn't look a bit too weird. We've got our second story here. We've got the bottom floor. 
And then uh, if we go down, you can see that uh, the entrance to the bottom floor starts with a bar. Two bars, to be in fact. I didn't actually know what to put in here, so I just filled it with bars. Because uh, let's just assume they also serve food and stuff, which they don't. They do serve snacks, though. So, I mean, I guess it kind of works out for a theater. For a casino, anyway. A theater for a casino. And then we go upstairs. Bam. This is the main entrance lobby of the theater. Um... It is a shame that this is the uh, reception for the box office. I wish it had like a table of sorts. So maybe I could like set up the table back here. People come in, they pay and they go down instead of this little, uh, this little shack, which I, uh, you know, fair enough, whatever. And then we've got uh, lovely art displays around, a couple of seats. I built a toilet up here just in case people closer want to use the bathroom. We've got our lovely outside area here. Again, another bar. Big fan of the bars. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, I reckon it looks great. I reckon it looks really inviting. But this is the theatre all... Uh, well, I wouldn't say all set up, but it's definitely decorated and designed. And I don't know, maybe I could put some seats out here for the actors or something. And, and uh, we'd still need to fix all this up. But, uh, but yes, all right, so let's, uh, let's set up our first axe here. So what you want to do, you want to jump down into the entertainment facility. Let's, uh, just slow down here. It looks like we can seat 202 people in our theater here. Uh, so we've got Monday to Friday, 9 to 12 to 15 to 18 to 21 to such and such. If we look at our guest experience, uh, entertainee, Saturday and Sunday, uh, 1 to 5. Is that one to five? It is one to five. Uh, so if we jump over to here, we've got uh, probably this one to this one are our peaks uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So these three here would be our peak shows. If we, so if we jump down here, we look at our most popular, 97 there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nope. So 97 would be our most popular up here. So Dark Valley, six performers. This is why we put so many blocks, just to fit a lot of performers so they can all get in there. So let's schedule that in our prime time. Let's make sure people are 100% satisfied, 102% satisfied with our ticket prices here. Here we go, 99. There we go, 100. So $22.93. Boom, Dark Valley. All right. And then uh, we'll just keep going through this. So the Vacant Voyage, 95% fictional show. We'll go after. There we go. Right, 47, 46, and then we'll do another one. I'll just keep going through this and putting all the all the good shows on. All right, there you go. We've put them all up. We set them all up. So Mercury Sisters to Sleep, Pope, Servants of the Wind, Girl of Obsession. I've put in Monday to Friday, 12 to, uh, what's that, 9? And then uh, Dark Valley, Vacant Voyage, Gives the Legend and the Black Widow, and Dance Divine from um, from 12 to 12. Uh, I've put nothing in 9 o'clock. It's just like, nah, it's too early. And uh, they're actually quite expensive, all these, which is uh, quite surprising. But yeah, there we go. So we've currently got some shows set up. Hopefully we can uh, get some visitors in here. Now, uh, a good way to uh, make sure that you do get some some people coming in is jump over to the guest experience here, and uh, we have some uh, some marketing that we can do here. So, what we'd want to do is uh, maybe for the first ones, we can change these to entertainee, seven days, excellent, and then buy those, and then that way we should be able to get some some uh, some guests here. So here we've got a demand and we're about to get 80 people on their way, which is excellent. So we should start to see some people rocking up to our show here, which is great. And all this time we've been gaining heaps of money, which is fantastic. So now we have uh, 1.4 million in our, in our bank here, which is excellent. I reckon in the next episode, we're going to uh, open up a different lot in a new section. So then we can uh, build higher if we want to. Um, uh, but we'll keep this save. So this one will keep generating us money uh, while we're building the other place. So hopefully we won't run out. 
and we'll see how that uh, that side of the mechanic of the game uh, functions. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking and subscribing and clicking the bell and commenting and letting me know uh, how you guys think of the episodes and what do you think of my my theater design here? Can you guys build the theater? Um, if not, hopefully this can help you out and hopefully you can see uh, see what types of stuff you can do. You can do all sorts of uh, decorations and designs for the theater, which is great. I've gone for a, a drop in type of uh, type of effect here, but uh, you can go uh, you can go upwards if you want, or depending how many floors you have. But no, anyway, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Peace.